The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Morale Monologue. I'm Michael Morale. How many of you heard whenever you were growing up, if you were going to go on a road trip, your parents would say, go to the bathroom now because I'm not turning this car around? Well, going to the bathroom is part of everyday life, let's face it. You know, number one and number two are just daily activities that all of us have to take care of. But going number one or number two can also become a problem if you're on treatments for SMA. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. These are some of the side effects that I've experienced when I switched from Spinraza to Everisd. And it's nothing so serious that it can't be taken care of, but it's something that I think you need to be aware of so that if it happens to you, maybe you can address it with your doctor. Okay, so if someone would have told me a long time ago that I would be doing a YouTube video regarding bathroom habits, I probably would have looked at you and told you that you were crazy. And here I am right now telling you that that's what I'm going to be talking about today. You know, whenever I was on Spinraza, you know, most of my treatment went really well. Uh, I never really had any problems with the injections. Uh, my life was going along just fine. And then Everisd came along and I thought, you know, for me, I decided to make the switch. And I did so a couple of months ago. But by making this switch, my body has had to adjust. Even though Spinraza and Everisd both work on the SMN2 gene with regards to the deficiency of the protein, it's still delivered in a different way and your body reacts differently to it. And one of the side effects are loose bowels. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail, okay? And there will definitely not be a slideshow presentation with this, but it's something that you need to be made aware of because if you are either currently on Spinraza or you're thinking about starting at RISD as your first treatment, then it's something that you need to talk with your doctors about because loose bowels can be an issue. Now, the majority of the people that have started Evrisdi, either as their first treatment or they're switching from Spinraza to Evrisdi, like I did, experience some loose bowel problems, but it's just the time that your body's having to adjust to this new treatment. And for the most part, the majority of you, uh, this problem cleared up relatively quickly. For me, it's been going on for about two months. And so I spoke to my neurologist about it, and she told me, she said, Certain people adjust to it quicker than others. And she said, let's go ahead and give it another couple of weeks and try it. If it's still a problem, she said, I want you to get off of Evrisd for about a week and see if that clears up the problem. And if it does, go back on Evrisd and see if it comes back. And she said, if it is a constant problem and you're starting to get dehydrated, she said, then we may have to switch you back from Evrisd back to Spinraza. And I really didn't want to do that, but running the risk of dehydration and feeling weak and tired, you know, it was an option that I had to weigh. Now, I have noticed that over the past couple of weeks, things are starting to kind of clear up a little bit. My bowels are becoming more firm, which is what I was hoping for. And I think my body is adjusting. Now, again, some people adjust faster than others. But these are some of the things that you definitely need to talk to your doctor about. You know, my doctor was telling me that she could give me something that would help with the bowels, but, and I'm not gonna mention what she told me with regards to the type of uh, drug that you could buy over the counter, but you can definitely talk to your doctors and at least address this issue with them. So if it comes up, you know what to do. Okay guys, that's really all this video has to do today. Uh, with regards to information. Uh, it's not something that I enjoy talking about, but it is something that all of us need to be aware of. So if it happens, we can talk to our doctors. So please talk to your doctors about this before you switch to Evrisd or if you are experiencing these issues and your doctors can definitely help you, okay? Hey, if you enjoyed this episode of the Morality Monologue, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to the SMA News Today YouTube channel as well. We would greatly appreciate it. Remember, when you do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified of any new videos that we produce. We at SMA News Today hope all of you have had a great day. Do me a favor. This upcoming week, do something for yourself that's going to make you a better person. Until next time, take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.